Hi, it's Kim Wozniak, and today we're going to make a mosaic pot with no cutting and no snipping. Just an easy, pretty mosaic pot that you can do quickly for your garden. So, I'm all set up here. I have all my materials, and uh, we have these fun little Brookstone tiles. They're high fired ceramic and can go indoors and out. We have some polka dots and penny rounds and glass clubs for the centers of our flowers and um, a variety of sizes of leaves. I also have my thin set. Um, I like to use paper plates because it makes it really easy for me to put all my materials, fold the plate, dump it back in the bag at the end of the day. And I also like to recycle so I have saved my old sour cream containers, my water bottles, my laundry jugs and this is my sources for water. I have a damp towel and a few tools. I prepare my pot ahead of time and I do that by soaking it in water for at least an hour but I like to do it overnight and what this does is fill all the pores up in the clay so that it doesn't suck the moisture out of our thin set when we put it on too quickly and uh, weaken it. And then to reinforce that and keep it damp I have here a damp towel which I put inside the pot and that will keep uh, water going out from the towel into the pot the whole time I'm working and if I feel like it's drying out I can just use my water bottle and dampen it a little bit. To start out my prep area I have a turntable because I'll be working on a pot and it's nice to just be able to spin it around and I am going to just loosely cover that with a garbage bag and this is going to do two things one it's going to catch any things that fall and they'll just be in the bottom of the bag for easy cleanup and two um, when I'm not working on my pot I will simply close the bag around it to keep the moisture in because the longer the pot and the thin set stay moist the stronger your finished product will be so you um, may see many other people seal their pots. I prefer not to do that. Based on my construction background, I know the fewest number of materials put together, you will have the least amount of failure. So thin set is really made to stick to the pot and the water that I've soaked it in and keeping the towel wet and the, keeps the cells closed so that it's not sucking the moisture out of the thin set. And we're not risking a future chemical reaction between any sealants or PVA glues and our thin set. Now we are going to prepare our thin set. And I like to put a little bit of water in the bottom before I add my thin set. And this keeps it from all sticking and clumping on the bottom. Now we'll add some thin set. I make what I think I can work on in a day. And we just need to get this really mixed up. A great tip for managing your thin set is to work out of a Ziploc bag. This does several things. One, it keeps your thin set from drying out too quickly and two, it makes it easy to clean up. And you'll see I put it over this little plastic cup which makes it really easy for filling. And now we're just going to clip the corner off so we can use it just like a little pastry bag. So now we're just going to start. As I said, this is a project with no cutting. So we have a few glass gems here and we're just going to make ourselves a flower center. Pick out whatever color you want to start working off of. Put a little thin set on the back and give it a little squish. And I've selected five of the identical shape and color of the petals and really simply we're just going to put these on and give them a little squish. I don't squish them all the way on at first because I feel like I might need to do some adjusting. So once I have them arranged, I push them down and give them a little wiggle to get fully seated with the, with the thin set and um, 
be ready to go. I also have left a little space here from the edge and that will give us a space to bevel off our grout when we get to grouting this project. We'll just add a little leaf in here. So we're just going to keep building and I'll take the next petal and put it on. Instead of starting in the center this time, I'm starting with the one petal to get a good equal distance from my last flower. And a center. So you can see that these tiles are big and flat and I'm working on a round surface. And it seems like you shouldn't be able to use this tile, but you can. So first we have to make sure that we have the entire back covered on the tile so that when we smush it down, you know that's a technical term, smushing, um, there's no places for water to get behind there. So once we have it in position, we're going to give it a smush and we just try to get them all at an angle that we're going to uh, even out when we do the grouting process. I'm now at the end of my day. I'm going to finish with the flowers and come back later and put a little background in. And I'm just going to finish placing my last tiles. And it's at this point that I go and look if I have anything that I think is going to interfere with my grouting process and just pick it out real quick. And you'll see that now it comes off easy instead of smearing all around because it's a little bit set up. And you don't have to go between every tile. It's just in case you think it's in a place where it might show through when you're grouting. The last thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna get this towel nice and damp again. And then we're gonna close our bag around the pot. Give it a twist. Push the air out. And now it will be here and waiting for me when I return to do the background. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, life's a mosaic. You pick the pieces.